Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, I'm happy that you're here. I just got out of work and I know what you're thinking. Yes, I did wear a crew neck to work today. It's Friday, we had a half day. I stayed a little bit longer than I normally do. Um, but my sister is coming home this weekend for her birthday and she works the night shift because she's a doctor. So she isn't home yet. So I figured I would get a little bit more work done since she's not going to be there anyway. And then I'm going to go pick up some flowers before I go home. So I'm not really sure what time she's supposed to come home. So I'm just going to go get that and then start taking photos and then maybe film some videos if I'm up to it. But I think my room is a mess. So it's going to take me some time to clean that up. And then also get my clothing rack ready for me to film some things. So we'll see what happens. I also didn't really see my mom last night because we went to happy hour with my coworkers. So she probably has a ton to fill me in on. Um, so we'll see what I can get done. But this weekend we are going to be sitting by the pool. I have some shipments that have come in that I need to show you guys because the stuff that I've been getting lately is just exquisite and I feel like everybody needs to know about it so I'll be showing you guys that stuff also I'm just going to head to the grocery store I want to get an all-white arrangement and I went to two different places so far and they haven't had that they all have like these really colorful like crazy ones which is nice but I just want something that's really like clean and pretty looking so we'll see if they have them here and it'd be a plus if they did because this place is super cheap so let's go flowers have been secured there were a couple as you guys saw in the videos of like other white arrangements but I really like the baby's breath I think that's what those like small tiny flowers are called and I love white roses and I think it's gonna work really well for the photo that I'm trying to get um, but I did just pay $20.25 for that so I'm definitely giving them to my sister for her birthday <laughs> like I can't just blow 20 bucks on like an Instagram picture basically um, but I also forgot to tell you guys that I am going to get my haircut today. So I haven't gotten a haircut in the longest time. I can't even fit the whole length of it in this frame. Um, but I'm really excited. I think I'm only going to get like maybe an inch off because for like winter and fall seasons when I'm wearing like really big oversized coats and like huge sweaters, this is like really detailed and like unnecessarily thought through but when I'm wearing big things like that I just like to have like longer hair I feel like I can look swallowed if my hair is like really short because it has been in the past yeah this week was kind of a pamper week I guess because I also went and got my nails done I did like a flamingo pink color don't know what it's called but it's Essie but yeah I'm gonna head home and then do a little photo sesh with these flowers and I'm gonna try to use them 18 different times so that I can you know it'll be like a dollar per photo instead of 20 for one um but I also am gonna try to shoot tomorrow so I'm gonna bring those with me if I can get some pictures with those also but I need to look up some inspo because I've never like I feel like I would take them to shoot and not know what to do with them like I'd probably slung slung sling them over my shoulder or something and make it look weird so I'm gonna be heading on Pinterest for that but yeah I'm gonna go home and eat something because I'm starving it is Saturday morning I mixed up the day. Actually, I didn't mix up the days. I made my appointment originally for Friday at 4.30. And then when they sent the text confirmation, I was like, oh, well, I forgot that I got to work at one on Fridays in the summer. So I'll just change it to be earlier. So I responded back saying that I wanted to reschedule and no one ever called me to reschedule. So I didn't really know how that worked before because that was the first time I did that instead of just accepting the appointment. So now it's Saturday. My appointment's at 12. And I have to leave in a few minutes to go, but just a little um, hair chat. So today, so you can see that my hair is like pretty long. I haven't had hair this long since I was in college. And it's just a little bit too long, I think, for my face shape. So I'm just going to cut an inch off. And normally I get like shorter layers that kind of come up to like here. But I think I'm just going to stick with longer layers because I think for styling my hair I don't really love the short layers I think it looks nice when it's like straight or if it's blown out but 
um, just from like a day to day. I don't like to have really short layers, especially if I'm letting my hair dry naturally, which I have been doing a lot lately during the week. If I have those really short layers, they won't like wave as much and then they kind of just flip out and it looks ridiculous. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get a trim, get some long layers put in and then I do wanna cut my, so my face frame is like all the way down here now. Normally when I get it cut, it's up here. So you can see how long my hair has grown. And I did cut it a little bit myself one time because I did a hairstyle and I had two pieces hanging out in the front and they were too long. So I just did a little snip snip. I don't recommend you do that at home. <laughs> I'm just gonna get a trim, do something really simple. And then later today, I'm gonna show you guys the packages that I received. They're all sitting right here and it's a huge mess along with my bag from this morning from shooting is sitting here also. And yeah, there's just a lot of cleaning up that I need to do. For the most part, my room is pretty clean, but like on the outside outskirts of my room, I have like little tiny organized piles of things, which gives me just as much stress as having like clothes flung all over the place. I'm gonna head out now for my haircut and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, so as you guys can see, my hair <laughs> is cut, but it's looking wild also. And we basically just took off an inch. Um, I look like this because I refuse to pay for a blow dry because number one, I just don't like the way that my hair looks when it's blown out. Not that this is better, um, but I can just style it myself. So I don't like the way that it looks. I don't know. It just makes it look a lot shorter and like I don't know, it just doesn't look good on me. It's like too sleek and whatever. Okay, there's also been a hair hanging on my eye. Oh, no, they're all over. But yeah, that's been bothering me for the entire time that I've been driving. But my other thought was to just leave it like this and then um, do a little Olaplex treatment just so that I have like my nice freshly cut, sorry, I keep touching it. I'll have like my nice freshly cut hair and then I'll also condition it. That's the plan for the rest of the day. And happy Sunday. So I've been up for a little while and I figured I would put the Olaplex mask in my hair just as I had promised when I talked to you guys earlier. So I'm gonna wet my hair, throw this in, and then I'm gonna do my morning skincare routine because I don't think I've ever done my morning skincare with you guys before. So I feel like that could be fun. And then I started to organize a drawer that needed a lot of folding and now it's all over my bed. So I'm gonna go put the mask in, do my skincare, and then leave the mask in for my skincare and for refolding everything. Just because I like to leave it in a little bit longer than the 10 minutes that it says on the bottle. Okay, so again, my hair is fully damp slash kind of soaking wet in some places. And I'm just gonna brush it out quickly with my wet brush. I've had my wet brush for, I think I got this when I was a sophomore in college. I don't think there's even one little pick missing from it. These things are really great because honestly, I don't know how people have time to comb their hair out with a regular wide tooth comb. Like it just takes way too long and I feel like it doesn't get all the knots out. But my hairdresser actually uses a wet brush also when she is done shampooing my hair. So that's how I know that they are definitely approved. Also, the good thing about me getting a haircut is that I don't have to use as much of this Olaplex because let's be honest, it's not the cheapest hair treatment. It is like the gloomiest day out today. And of course I planned to film some videos yesterday, but because my sister was here, I just wanted to spend time with her and it was technically her birthday weekend and she just wanted to relax. Yeah, so I didn't get any filming done, which is completely fine. But the only problem with that now is that today it's super dark outside and it's supposed to be sunny at like 3 p.m. The lighting might just be a little bit wonky or I will just try to get it filmed like right in front of the window, but that would require me like moving my bed. And last time I did that, I scratched the floor. So um, I don't really wanna do that again. So we're just gonna try to make do with what we have. Um, but so one of them, I decided to do a summer capsule wardrobe because I watched a documentary on Netflix, it's called The True Cost, and I think it was made quite a while ago. So 
I don't know, it was very impactful. And even though like some of those brands that they were speaking about have made like huge changes toward being more sustainable, it's basically about the fashion industry and how we are, I say we because I work in the fashion industry, but it's basically like every single person who buys clothing is a part of this, um, which is really shocking and disturbing, but um, fashion is the number two industry behind oil that is the biggest polluter of our planet. So it's, it's just very overwhelming to me that I can be one of those consumers. And even though I am one person, I still do want to kind of make a difference. So from that stems the capsule wardrobe video. So basically, I just want to encourage everybody to just buy staple items or already use the staple items that you have in your closet and just to style them in all different ways and mix and match everything and just get the most use out of your clothing because I think especially in America we are told you know buy this pink and orange top that you're going to wear once and buy these zebra pattern pants that you're going to wear once and I just think that our American culture is very disposable when it comes to fashion and it's a lot of like buy cheap and wear once and I just want to encourage people to basically do the opposite and just to have less but to have really great quality pieces and things that you're going to want to wear for the rest of your life. Um, but yeah, that's just my plan. So I, when I put this mask in, I just put a bun in because it just keeps it off of like my clothing and it's just like mess free and then I can do whatever else I want. Okay, so now I'm going to do my morning skincare. I'm not going to fully like go through and like do it with you because I didn't expect to be talking this much during my mask applying. But so for cleanser, I'm gonna use my Alaya skincare cleanser. This is the best one ever. I am almost out of this and I'm gonna cry, but I am going to repurchase this. So they did gift me the um, starter kit, but I am gonna repurchase this because I love it. And it also gets all of your makeup off, including mascara. So insane product, I love it. And it also foams up really nicely. So you don't have to like, go crazy trying to lather it. And then after that, I'm gonna use my unseen sunscreen because you need to wear sunscreen every single day. And then for the morning, I mostly focus on hydration. And then at night is when I do my exfoliating products. So after the sunscreen, I'm gonna put on hyaluronic acid. This is just the L'Oreal Revitalift one. And then after that, we're gonna do vitamin C serum. This is also Elias Skincare, love that. And then I do want to go for more of a thicker moisturizer today. And this one actually works really well underneath makeup. So it's the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. And then just as a little treat, I like to finish off with some Mario Badescu setting spray. Well, it's not setting spray, it's just facial spray. But sometimes I do use it as setting spray also. And this is the um, rose flavored one. But I do have the lavender also, which is so good. And they just came out with a new orange one that I want to try, but I need to finish stuff first before I buy new stuff. So I'm just going to do all of this real quick and then it's cleaning time. Another task that I've been wanting to get done is wash my bathing suits, which I have gathered all of them up because I thought I was going to hand wash them, but that did not end up happening. I figured that even though some of my swimsuits that are like this one and a lot of the other ones say to hand wash them, that I could just put them on a cold cycle and put them on like gentle slash hand wash, which is a setting on the washing machine. And they all came out perfect. So now they are all washed and ready to go. I am basically using every single surface in here that I can find. This one, let's hope it dries down there, but it's velvet, so it should dry pretty easily. Um, but I'm so happy that I got that done because these have been sitting in my room hanging for so long and it's just nice to check that off the list. Okay, you guys, so I don't even know when I just spoke to you guys last, but I did promise earlier in this vlog that I had a bunch of unboxings to do with you guys, so we're gonna do that now. I opened some of the stuff because when a package comes, I kind of 
either leave it on the floor for three days and don't touch it or I'm super excited and I open it right away. And then some other stuff my mom actually opened. So it's a mix of everything. I'll start with the ASOS package that I received. So I just wanted to get some little basics. I have these little bras that I have showed you guys before. They kind of remind me of like training bras. Like when you first start wearing a bra, like this is what you wear. <laughs> so they're just this ribbed material and it's called the cat bra, I think from weekday. And I already have a white one and I wanted to get black, but at the time it wasn't in stock. So I picked up the black also. The strange thing about these is that some of them have a clasp on the back and some of them don't. So for example, this one just has like a regular hook and eye bra clasp that you would see on a regular bra, but this white one doesn't. And my original white one does. So I'm not really particular about having a clasp or not. So I got those and then I picked up a bathing suit, which I always say that I'm gonna only buy bathing suits from Triangle because I know that their quality is really great and I just love their brand so much. But I saw this one and I was like, I kind of want that. <laughs> so it was supposed to be white, I think, I think. And this is what it looks like. So it has textured material here. It's kind of like the one that I'm wearing right now. Yes, I am wearing a bathing suit as a bodysuit. I'm actually going to the Yankees game. So this is my outfit. And yeah, if you guys didn't know that trick, you can definitely wear a one piece as a bodysuit as long as it has like some sort of texture in it. And then these are the bottoms. So I already tried this on. They are more full co coverage which is great. I feel like whenever I'm on family vacation, my mom's always like, why is your butt showing? And like, there's like no material on that bathing suit. So this is a good option if you need a family vacation bathing suit. And then I also picked up another one of these t-shirts that I love so much. I have one of these already and it's just oversized. It's really good quality. It's from and other stories also from ASOS and it has that like longer sleeve that I love. And it's just a really nice boxy fit. These are also perfect for tucking into things. I wore this with wide leg trousers and sneakers to work the other day and it looks really cute. The next package that I received is actually a gifted one. So these are from the brand called Tiki's and I thought it was pronounced Teeks up until I did this collaboration. So I'm working with them over on Instagram and I wanted to show you guys these sandals because they're just a really good minimal sandal to have. I've been looking for something like this for a really long time because I do have a pair of black sandals and I'm looking to get the um, YSL ones. So I wanted ones in a light color. I originally wanted to go for brown, but I feel like since I have so much black and white in my wardrobe that these would work really well for that. So they have a little toe strap here and then they cross in the front and then fasten with a little buckle here on your ankle. I've already been walking around in these around the house and they're so comfortable. Like the design of them makes you feel like your foot's gonna be really like not secure because it's really, you think that your foot's being like anchored down by the toe piece, but that is such a huge misconception. They're so comfy and just a really great like minimal brand if you're looking for sandals. So then moving on, I didn't even open this one because, well, so this one's a little bit strange for me because I was so excited to receive this. I actually emailed the brand asking if they could rush the order because I was going on vacation, which I am on in a couple days. So they actually, I don't know if they actually rushed it or if they're just on time with their orders, but this came all the way from England. I paid $36 to ship this. I never pay for shipping, like ever, 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 never, ever pay for shipping. And so I feel like me not paying for shipping for my entire life has led up to this moment of having to pay shipping for this item because they don't do free shipping on the website. And I saw this bag and needed to get it, which sounds completely insane. We are doing the unveiling together. Oh my gosh, it comes with it. Okay, so it comes with this cute little dust bag on top. The brand is called Lillian Bean. Um, and as I mentioned, it is from Great Britain. So it comes with this cute little dust bag. I love their branding, so cute. And then the personalized, yes, personalized little tote. This is so cute. So I got this as a beach bag because if you guys watched one of my Zara hauls a while back, I had a straw bag and I was really conflicted about keeping it because the handles were also straw and I just didn't want them to get dirty and like gross. So I returned it and it also went on sale for $25 too. And I still returned it because I just didn't think it'd be worth it to have. And I didn't think it was going to hold up. 
So I got this one instead and it has my initials on it. I feel like this is the perfect size for the beach. You can throw a book in here, sunscreen, your sunglasses case, um, and it comes with stuffing in it. So it has a chain strap on it. Am I okay? I don't know what's happening. I don't know why I can't figure this out. Okay. <laughs> They're just pulled through. So you just pull this one through on this side and you pull it through on this side. So you can wear this on your shoulder and then you can also carry it just by the top handles. These are also removable. So you can take these off completely if you want to, but I do think I'm gonna carry it like mostly on my shoulder. Oh guys so the amazing thing about this is that each tote comes with like a signature color combination but you can also customize them so i did white black and dark taupe in the center here and the color that you pick for this inner color is also going to be the color of the initials so i love this i think it's so aligned with my style i just think it's adorable and then i know that tote bags can kind of be annoying when you're throwing a bunch of stuff inside of it and I've seen a bunch of like bloggers and people like that get little inserts. So my next order that I wanna show you guys is from Amazon. So I basically took the measurements of this bag and went on Amazon and found a little bag insert. So you can kind of, and this is the other thing I bought that I'm gonna show you guys in a second. But so it has two compartments here, a zipper in the center, and then like a bunch of little pockets around it that you could just put stuff into. And I like to be organized, so I thought that this would be a good thing to pick up. So let's see if it fits. Because I obviously didn't have the bag yet and not like I would have been able to measure it. Okay, it fits perfectly. So now the bag has a lot more compartments on the inside. Even like the way that I first saw these was people were using them for diaper bags. And I think that's so smart because you can like section everything out and have different compartments for things. Um, I do love that this bag also has a zipper on top. Um, so there's a zip on the bag insert and then there's a zip on the actual bag itself. So that just makes sure that if you're traveling or something that your things are going to be really secure. So that is my first thing from Amazon and obsessed with this. I'm just the second thing that I got from Amazon are these little nipple covers. So I had these and lost one and obviously you can't go out with only one on. So I got another set and what makes these different from regular ones is that these are heat adhesive. So there's no like sticky stuff on them. They're basically just silicone and they're more filled in, in the center and then they kind of flush out to the edges, which is really nice because it just makes sure that you're really not gonna see it. I had just had it on with a white like racer tank and you cannot see these at all. They're like invisible, which I love. They're like a little weird and like floppy, but <laughs> I love these because you can wear them as many times as you want. So whereas like if you're getting flower petals or like sticky things, first of all, I think the stickiness is just like really uncomfortable. This just peels right off. And the more that you sweat, the more this sticks to you. Like, I don't know how this wasn't an invention like in the 1930s or something because it is completely genius. But yeah, even with like sticky, I don't know, even know how like sticky nipple covers are even on the market anymore because you sweat and those fall off and it's just like embarrassing and you're out and you don't wanna have to deal with it. These, if you sweat more, they're gonna like suction to you, which is like a crazy concept, but I absolutely love these and I would buy them over and over again if I keep losing them. So that is everything that I have to unbox with you guys right now. I have an H&M order coming and I feel like there was one other one, but that will be turned into a haul. So you guys will see that in a completely different video. I am gonna end the video here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next one.